Uh, hi, uh, we're here at the Wilderness Centre with Dave Squire. Uh, Dave Squire, uh, I believe you, you run the entire centre. Yes, now, I is, do. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. Right, tell us a little bit about yourself um, yeah. and the Wilderness Centre and you know, yeah. kind of what happens here and what goes on. Well, for me, I uh, have been working in the outdoors. Uh, right. So my passions are kind of outdoor education, yeah. climbing, canoeing especially. Uh, and I've been brought in to run the Wilderness Centre because yeah, yeah. uh, it's a privately owned centre now. It used to be run by Gloucestershire County Council. Right. Um, so I've had a background of 24 years working in the industry. Right. But what okay. happened was you never get the chance these days to set up an outdoor centre from scratch. Yeah, okay. The centre shut four years ago. Right. It was bought and then so I had no customers yeah yeah it's a beautiful building as you've seen it's stunning I'll, um, I'll, I'll be doing some shots later to, yeah, to on, on the website and yeah it's a fantastic yeah. venue um, but you know my experience you just never get a chance to set this thing up from scratch so we're yeah. really trying hard it's our first year of operation as a private okay. business and uh, yeah we're just we have an open day like you mentioned yeah. uh, about you know letting the public come in so my background's outdoor ed the centre has been an outdoor ed centre for 45 years had yeah. a quick break in the middle was a county council run place, yeah, um, and well used by the Larpin community to yeah, yeah, yeah. to run events and things, uh, and we're trying to continue that on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know that it was definitely used by the Larpin community because I I run many LARPs here yeah. myself um, with Fear of the Dark and what have you. We used to use this place quite regularly, really, because they were they were horror based LARPs. Yeah. What better building? Yeah, I mean the building. <laughs> the building was an isolation hospital, yeah, it, well, wasn't it? Exactly. For a long time. Exactly. We've yeah. turned we've turned it into asylums. We've turned oh. it into uh, stately homes. Well, there's someone that's not quite right there uh, yeah. running the place, uh, etc. Well, so, you know that's not changed. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So so we 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 loved the place anyway, yeah. and we were gutted when you know it was Quite kind of shut. yeah taken away from us. It was almost wrenched out of our hands. It, that's it, right. It, I mean, it felt like. I've worked in, in the outdoors for a long time, yeah. but this is the first time, first centre, that I've had any experience with the LARP community. Okay. Right. No other centres I've run, I've run some in, in London and, and some in Melbourne, which is 40 yeah. miles away. Never, ever had any contact, it's never been a thing. Really? And yet, come here, and as soon as we were open, you know, the, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, kind yeah. of, the phone calls came, and yeah. we're like, wow. Yeah. Hello, are you open for LARP? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and well, of course we are, you know. I love it. I'm yeah. a big fan of uh, sci-fi, fantasy, yeah, yeah. video games, the whole thing. Yeah. I haven't quite got my head around live action role playing, ah. but I have been, I've come out with the first group came and I went out and watched it all yeah. so I was getting an idea of yeah, yeah. how it worked because it's uh, yeah it's always intrigued me I've not known I mean I mean every every system is quite unique in yeah. in how it works um but the premise is the same there's a story yeah you know uh that is uh, loosely guided along but that story can change dictated upon what the actual players yeah do, for sure you know? So when you're running a game, you're still doing this. They did what? Uh, yeah. You know. Um, right. Fine. Okay. Right. Fine. Right. 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 You go over there. You know. So yeah. you know that happens. You know, it, it is a lot of on the fly stuff. I was really impressed by the whole level of organisation. Oh yeah. That the groups yeah, have yeah, brought. Yeah. You know, with four or five or maybe ten marshals in some cases, yeah. and and people volunteering to be monsters. Exactly. You know, coming yeah. in. Uh, yeah. Phenomenal. And I'm a big fan of archery and looking right. at the archers with the with the foam ends on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Oh, it, brilliant. It, it, it looks like it hurts still if you get hit though. Yeah, well a it, little bit. It, it does if you hit them in particular spots. Yes, yeah, people not, are, not that I've ever done that. People are very polite when they do. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. A monster yeah, gets hit in the in the <laughs> yeah, particular spot. Unmentionables, spots. yes. Yeah, and then they, they go, Oh awfully sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh it's, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, in, in in I remember one game where I, in one shot I took out one, one guy's throat. Oh, <laughs> he was like, "I'm fine," ah. <laughs> and you're the one in the unmentionables. Um, yeah, and, well, and, and he it's went easy down. To do. He went down, and I went, "I am so sorry." He went, "It's fine." Yes, it's okay. <laughs> you well, know, you know. Yeah, it's part of the game. Exactly. Um, so, focusing on LARP then. Um, Coming back to that just for a minute. Now, mm. there's a there's a, a lot of unique things yeah. to this site. There are. You've got are. a Saxon. Yeah, we've got yeah. a recreation of a Saxon house. Okay. Um, which isn't quite accurate, but it's it's good enough. Uh, so, and we're we're up on a hill. 
Right. So that allows for a lot of kind of dynamic battles. Excellent. We've got a lot of fences and stuff. I saw one of the groups use a, a fence and the Saxon house as a portal that they had to right, kind yeah, of battle yeah. through, I which worked you. really well. We've got ancient woodland. Yeah, yeah. So we've got uh, different scenarios. We've got 30 acres of land and we've got a giant manor house. Yes. You know, which helps. <laughs> and lots of outbuildings yeah. and fields and, and stuff like that. So it's really, there's loads of opportunities to run, like, say, horror yeah. um, weekends or proper kind of hardcore fantasy weekends. Right, yeah, It, yeah. it just lends yeah. itself all the way. And actually, you're not far away from... Just outside of our boundary, we've got the whole Forest of Dean. Yeah. And it's a really quiet area around here. Yeah, so uh, yeah. although it might, you know, the odd dog walker might get a sore <laughs> fright, I think it'd be brilliant yeah. to, to use it even wider. Well, yeah, I mean, we, we certainly have done that in the past with, with certain other sites. Where, where it is a public right of way. Yes. You know, and, yeah. and, and, and they go, Rah! and they go, Whoa! Yeah, they go yeah. oh, sorry, you're not part of the game. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, they go, and they got to mutter away, bloody laughers. Bloody you know? laughers. <laughs> Yeah. Um, we've also got actually one of the groups used we've got a tunnel system on right. site okay so plastic pipes and, and it's a network right and uh, they use that as part of the, the story excellent they had to go and retrieve some item in there yeah, there yeah, yeah. people hiding in there and, oh, brilliant watching people in full armour full costume trying to <laughs> wriggle down these pipes to yeah. get a certain thing but it adds an element of the you know to the story that a lot of venues yeah. wouldn't have and I was quite happy with the people that I'd met to let them just use that as part of yeah. the, the thing. Exactly. You know, you, you come and chat to me and, and yeah. we work it out. Because I'm, a, I'm a, a fan, I'm a converted fan of it. Uh, because You're it hits all the things that, you know, my, that, that I like yeah. uh, pop culture-wise. Well, you, well. You, you definitely seem like a, like, like a bit of breath of fresh air. You seem to be a can-do yeah. type yeah, of guy rather than to. you want to do what, you weirdos? Yes, um, yeah, 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 completely. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a photo from the first group. It's amazing. It's a great photo. <laughs> Yeah. And, and, and that, that is excellent. Yeah. Um, how can people find this uh, this place and get in contact yeah. with Yeah, well, um, there's numerous ways, but uh, I'll try our website first. So that's um, wilderness-centre.co.uk. Okay. And that's got all our contact details on. Yeah. A lot of LARP groups have got in contact with us through uh, groupaccommodation.com. Just search for Wilderness okay. Centre. That's been right. really good. So those two are the best ways. Or yeah, you can yeah. give us a phone call uh, and our... Phone number is 01594-542-567. Cool. We'll, we'll put all these details yeah. up on the website anyway. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and what yeah. have you. Um, is, there, is, is there anything other that can, you know, about this site that you'd like to talk about? Uh, I mean, we, we run outdoor education residentials primarily for schools. Yeah. So, so the LARP stuff tends to fit nicely in the weekends when we don't have schools in. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, if any of your listeners are... Um, you know, teachers thinking of bringing people away. Oh, then, they are. Then clearly, uh, <laughs> I'd be remiss yeah. not to say that we exactly. run amazing residential um, things for 54 ch pupils, uh, sleeping in the manor house, all inclusive. The food's right. phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we've got a high, wide range of activities from crate stacking to mountain biking, canoeing on the River Wye. Right. And again, those contact details, if you uh, contact us, you'll get Deb, my office manager, who's... Yeah really helpful and she would talk you through kind of what we've got on offer fantastic and if you're not larping and you're not bringing schools here we have a lot of 50th and 40th uh, birthdays hire the center you can Excellent. hire it on a fully self self-catered weekend right, right. Okay. so again 30 acres in forest of dean with yeah, a yeah. giant manor house pretty reasonable prices and you can book it in you know as there's my plug <laughs> you know, and we like so we've got an open yeah. day for the public. We're doing free activities today, and yeah. uh, in the hopes that and and you know the LARP community are helping us with that. They're yeah, doing yeah. a brilliant job. Volunteered to come down and provide some weapon training and uh, run a, a little story yeah, for yeah. the young kids, and that's I think that's been really successful. So, yeah, excellent. You know, we yeah, appreciate yeah. it as well. Yeah, I I know I, I I've taken quite quite a bit of video footage and, and some photos of oh, them doing that. And there were some definite comedy elements in there, yeah. which, which were brilliant. Uh, I think I think sometimes the adults were chuckling more than yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the, 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 the children yeah. uh, because well, they, they get them off the it. iPads. Yeah, and it gets them engaging their, exactly. their imagination in a more tactile way. Yeah, um, you know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, it exactly. Yeah. Well, um, thank you very much, Dave. Uh, thank you. That's superb. Um, like I said the details are going to be up on the website and what have you. We'll make sure everything's up there. 
Yeah. Uh, so you can get in touch with uh, Dave or Deb. Yeah. Dave or Deb. Dave yeah, or yeah, Deb. Yeah, yeah. So no, it'll probably be Deb to start with, so only because she's better on the phone. The double Ds. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That'll go down well. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you yeah. haven't you haven't actually seen our listenership yet. No, it was they, true. They'll get It'll it. Go down well. Uh, yeah. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Excellent. Cheers. Cheers.